All right. Now we talked a little bit about chakras in the last video, just briefly, but you're going to see how this relates to this chart of Earth here in a moment as you begin to realize that you're actually looking at a human head. Right. You're actually looking at a human head. And what do we got up here? Well, we got the halo. Symbolism for the halo. But in this instance, the halo is a lake of fire. Because we know who is trying to create earth into this supposed material golden age, this enlightenment. But in reality, they're murdering people to do it. So the halo that they create for themselves, the kingdom that they create for themselves, is the future spiritual lake of fire. As I said, the round circle represents the earth. These are two locations on the earth where we see as repositories for souls. Well, these now represent eyeballs. Have you ever heard the expression that the doorway to the soul is through the eyes? Well, there you have it. Fractal complete from micro to macro. Two repositories for souls to be kept in the earth. One for the fallen, one for the regular people. If you notice that I have the fallen on the right side, which would represent the right eye, which represents the left hemisphere of the brain, which is the material. And you would think, well, the fallen are supposed to be enlightened and that they believe that they're spiritual. Well, that's the flip of the switch. They think that they're spiritual, but yet they're trying to achieve a material kingdom on this world. That's not spiritual. That's material. That's why the fallen who think they're enlightened are on the right side of the eye, which now represents the left hemisphere of the brain, which now represents the Apsu, which is the North Pole. And that is the third location where is titled hell on the earth. So we know that these fallen ones are mimicking the path of the rising of the Kundalini. They're hoping to rise up out of the earth. Well, just like the Kundalini serpent is hoping to rise up out of the top of the head. But we see that they're going from the frying pan that they create here on earth as a judgment going right into the fire. Praise Jesus. Because the truth will not be hidden and it's in all things. You know what's interesting? Is that I never even planned any of this. I just simply drew this chart. And now as I've realized when I was looking at it, that it actually mimics the human head perfectly. And then for those of you who have viewed this channel for a long time, you're absolutely shell-shocked right now. Shell-shocked. Three locations on earth. The Apsu, which is a material kingdom. I've got the biblical scriptures that can prove it. That there is a master race that is living with underneath the earth. The main hub is in the North Pole. That's right. And they're hoping to burst forth and escape, okay, and rise into this material kingdom. But really what happens in spirit is that they're going to rise into this lake of fire. That's exactly right. That's what they're bringing for themselves. So a repository for the fallen that are being kept, which is now being symbolized as the eyeball and then a repository for the people. Now, if the people are on this left eye, now the people are on the spiritual side. That's exactly right. They're no longer on the material side because the true spirit that they have is in the spirit kingdom of the Father. They're not trying to have a material kingdom on this world in the kingdom age that they're looking for their treasure that's stored in heaven, just like the Bible says. So now the people are on the correct side of the eyeball which is the left eye, which is now the right hemisphere of the brain, which Jesus Christ says, I shall ascend to the right side of my father, the right hand of my father. So, literally got, God, I got goosebumps all over me right now. Because I know what I'm seeing here is real and true in an incredible way. In an incredible way. This designation right here, where you see this little cross, guess what? That's the third eye. And we're supposed to put Jesus on the cross because we have confusion between the eyes of man. We have those that are fallen and then those that are just people that are being confused by the fallen. But if you put Jesus Christ on the cross, he's going to lead you to the true spirit and not this lake of fire. I'll be back.